Coming to you from my camper today. I'm out here camping and I'm not going to miss a video, so I'm filming in my camper. And today we're making an apple meatloaf. And, and why I'm doing apple is I'm actually using applesauce instead of grated apple, is because it brings more moisture to the meatloaf. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I do, you don't have to do this, but I line my crock pot with aluminum foil when I do meatloaf because it is so much easier to pull out of there and then I just open the meatloaf up and just cut my meatloaf right on, on the um, aluminum foil. So that's why I have aluminum foil in here. And I'm starting out with one pound of ground beef. And so what we're gonna add to that is one egg beaten, just like that. I like using my hands, you can use a uh, spoon whatever works for you do it okay but i'm going to use my hands so i'm just going to mix that up a little bit and then to this recipe while i'm mixing this um, i'm going to go ahead and add four ounces of applesauce okay and so the egg i just added so you know what it does is this it helps bind the meat together so it's just not loose and flopping around however i have made it without egg and it's worked out just fine so I'm not sure that egg is absolutely necessary, but if you're gonna put this much liquid in your meatloaf, egg will be necessary, okay? So, and then how I'm going to, instead of adding breadcrumbs or oats or rice or anything like that, I like using potato flakes, like from your instant mashed potatoes. So in here, I have one fourth cup of potato flakes, and then I have gone ahead and just added in my salt, my pepper, and my basil. And so I, I did one teaspoon of basil, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of pepper. And so it's already added in here, and I'm just gonna sprinkle it in there like that, and mix it up. And you wanna make sure you mix it up well, and it's still gonna be kinda gooey, but it's gonna be okay. See, it's still kind of um, gooey. That's the only word I know to say. It's just still kinda gooey. It's not stiff or anything. But it's gonna hold together. See, I want you to see what it's like. And so, but I would just suggest you get it mixed up really well. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to hold it together kind of like this, because I want it in a, a round shape. And I'm gonna plop it in there like that. Just like that. Perfect. I want to show that to you. Let me rinse my hands off here and I'll show that to you. And so you can see how it fits in there. So see, it just plops right down. That is actually very beautiful. And then so for my topping, and I'm gonna to put my topping on right now uh, because it's in the crock pot and I don't wanna mess with it. I wanna put my topping on, I wanna let it all bake like that and be done with it. So for my topping, I did one fourth cup of ketchup I did two tablespoons of brown sugar, the dark brown sugar, that's why it's so dark. And I did one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. And balsamic vinegar just adds such a nice depth to your, your ketchup brown sugar. If you don't have it, it's fine. You can use any, you can use mustard if you really like the mustard tanginess. Uh, but this is just what we prefer in my house. And so I'm just gonna pour that right on top of there like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Such a beautiful color. Okay, and so you know how easy these are. I'm gonna put the lid on. Now you're gonna have to push it down a little bit if you got the aluminum foil to get a nice fit there. And I'm gonna set it on high for five hours. And we'll be back to show you what it looks like. Subscribe and like if you like what I'm doing so I can keep doing it. I, I really enjoy doing it and I hope that I'm giving some good meals to, to you that you are is helping you to save time and have hot nice meals after a day of work or a day of playing um, so if you like it subscribe